Am I the evil for calling my brother a mama's boy and refusing to apologize for ruining his birthday? I am 29 and my brother is 26 and his wife is 24. We live at my mom's house. Mom tends to get involved in their marriage constantly and my brother lets her. Sister-in-law always complains about mom streamrolling her decisions and violating her privacy. When sister-in-law got pregnant, mom got worse. She went out and brought a whole nursery and put it in her room despite sister-in-law having one in her room. Their most recent conflict is about mom pushing to be in the delivery room and sister-in-law saying no. My brother not only is siding with mom but he is making promises to her to keep her happy. Last week, we were gathered at mom's house for my brother's birthday. His friends came and asked why sister-in-law wasn't at the dinner table. My brother nonchalantly said that she was just being a princess, acting spoiled and immature over everything. I was shocked and hurt on her behalf, so I responded, Actually, she's probably just upset now that she's realized that you're a great mama's boy, ready to do whatever mom says while ignoring your wife's wishes. Brief silence while his friend stared. He started arguing about how disrespectful I was. He told my husband to say something and my husband just said, Don't mind me. I'm just a bystander sitter. Dinner got awkward and my brother's friends left early. He went off on me saying I embarrassed him before friends and ruined his birthday dinner. I decided to go home because he kept yelling. Mom then called demanding I apologize for the rude things I said at dinner but I refused. A mighty hill for this. Now for the top comments. Here's a comment from Violet Sky Dreams. Not the evil. Glad someone is standing up for sister-in-law. The icing on top is he had mommy call you after he tattled because his feelings were hurt. Here's a comment from Be More Sky and C. I'm glad OP said something this time, but I hope OP reads this and thinks of other things she can do. Which she might already be doing, like tell mom directly she's being ridiculous about the delivery room and nursery furniture. Tell sister-in-law she's on her side. Sister-in-law wasn't even around for all this. Let sister-in-law know what brother has been saying. Offer to go with sister-in-law to set up hospital restrictions so brother can sneak mom in. Call out brother and mother each and every time. Offer sister-in-law a place to go if she needs to leave brother. Here's another comment from Hunter Dangerous 1366 I hope OP sees this cause sister-in-law needs OP and her I don't give a fuck attitude towards her brother, especially the hospital one. Sister-in-law needs to start laying down boundaries now. Here's a comment from Alex Elliot. The mother sound like someone you would post about on r slash just no mother-in-law. Here's a comment from NSFWNS. Not a hope. Mother-in-law really doesn't need to be in the delivery room, especially if sister-in-law is against it. This story has so many layers of bad. Thank you for standing up for your sister-in-law. Crazy Peels. Next story. I, 32 male, have failed protecting my girlfriend, 32, from her sister's husband and I cannot forgive myself for that. My girlfriend of 3 months and I were on vacations with her brothers and some friends of celebrating her birthday. One night I passed out drinking because we were playing some stupid game and the loser had to drink a tequila shot. I got so drunk that I lost consciousness. One of her friends took me to the rest to a sofa. My girlfriend stood by my side all the time taking care of me and continuing with the party. At one time during the night, while I was passed out, I could hear my girlfriend yelling to her sister's husband, Stop touching me, idiot! But I was so damn drunk, I wasn't able to help her. As far as I understand, nothing happened between them because my girlfriend was able to defend herself from being abused by his motherfucker. The next day, I told my girlfriend that I knew what happened and that I knew that she defended herself. I told her I will tolerate this motherfucker just for her as he is part of her family and that I would not make a scene to her for something that didn't happen, especially during her birthday. She was okay with this. The thing is that three days after that, I cannot sleep anymore. I feel so much regret and guilt for not being able to help my girlfriend and I feel it is my fault that my girlfriend had to experience this. I never imagined I would need to protect her even from her family. I thought she was safe. This feeling is killing me from the inside. I don't know if I should talk to her about this because I don't want her to remember this experience. 
My relationship with her has been great up until that moment. She is so cute and loving and beautiful person. She also loves me so much. But during this time after her birthday, I feel so bad that I cannot communicate with her the way as before and she is now feeling insecure about if I still love her. Please, what should I do? Too long did I read. I feel so much grief and guilt for not being able to defend my girlfriend from a family member of hers who tried to abuse her. Now for the top comments. Here's a comment from Blade982. Talk to her about it. Show her this post we can't articulate it in person. And the things we suffer for the sake of family are horrendous. Her brother-in-law is a pervert and his actions should be outed. But I can understand her reluctance. She should obviously never be alone with him. I don't want else to suggest but reassure you that you are not to blame. Here is a comment from the OP. Thank you, you're right. I don't think I will be able to articulate words. Showing this post to her is brilliant. I will just ask her if she wants to talk about what happened beforehand. Here is a comment from Unhappy Library 1644 You sound like you're trying and it's so respectable. Good job. Good luck. Here's a comment from Ferocious Pinecone. Well, your first step is to realize you're in your 30s now. Know your limits and stop getting so shit-faced you're incapable of moving if the house catches on fire. Step 2 is to internalize that nothing happened and your girlfriend was able to defend herself without your help. Stick to step 1 and ensure neither of you are in a position to hang out with a brother-in-law in a way where this can become an issue again and you'll be golden.